I don't know how this video is, should start. And I don't know how this video is going to go. <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another venture with the Bearded Bobber. Um... I didn't see me ever putting this on the channel. <laughs> I mean, I still might not. We'll see if it makes it. <clears throat> I want to talk to you guys about mental health for men. <sighs> so, I'm very anxious right now, very anxious, and no particular reason, uh, this isn't even something that normally happens to me, uh, I'm going to dive into it a little bit more too, so maybe some of you guys want to hear this, maybe some of you don't, um, I'm here for people who need it, uh, Let's dive in. I'm probably not going to edit any of this stuff. So stick with me. <laughs> we're getting it. We're getting through it. Um, on most days, I'm the prime candidate or person or whatever you want to call it that doesn't I don't feel a whole lot. Like I, I'm gonna. I feel stuff. I get that a lot from my mom's side. My dad now, being older, um, has come around. You know, he was. <clears throat> he was always a, an affectionate dad, um, but since he's gotten older, it's gotten a little bit more. And it's good though. In a good way, you know. I love you and the hugs and all this stuff and. He, he hugged one and I was a kid it's not like hey this is not one of those I didn't get hugged enough as a kid thing so let's backtrack growing up I went through I went through a good amount for a while, you know, growing up, we had money. It wasn't an issue. And, um, that was for a small time. All right, I lied. I added up something. My dad was gone for a while in my life. And it's all unfortunate, but things happen. He's still here. <sighs> While he was gone, I had an evil stepmother. Bitch. <laughs> One of those. Oh, she's crossing the street. Hit the gas. Whew. This is hard, guys. <sighs> Started this video. I was driving my truck home and I was so having a weird day. Weird day. And I said, you know what? I gotta record this now. Never wanted to do this, but bring awareness to this stuff and other people that need help but sometimes you hear it in somebody's voice who maybe doesn't sound like they've been going through it not today <laughs> um, so growing up dad's gone I think I'm divorced with my mom and dad when I was like 10 and um Mom was gone for a little while. Then dad was gone. Evil stepmother. This bitch. She gives a bad name for bitches. 
we go. Apparently I was too much of her. I wasn't a bad kid. I promise you I wasn't a bad kid. You guys, a lot of you guys have met me and um, I've always, even younger, been a chill person. Whew. Luckily enough, that helped me get through a lot. She drove from, uh, I think we were in Riverside, California, to Golden Valley, Arizona, where my aunt and uncle live. She dropped me off outside their house. If you've never been to Golden Valley, it's a big part of a desert. The neighbors are very far in between. We're three miles off the highway, and then a couple blocks down a dirt road. And then there's no light on to the house. Just dropped me off. Gave me my bag. I had a teddy bear since I was a child. A little nightcap. Cute little teddy bear. Bitch gave it to the dogs before I left. Some people can't handle shit. Um, so all that happens. And I'm not here crying about all that stuff, guys. But... Just trying to give you a backstory for this next part. And uh, with my aunt and uncle for a while, my aunt was there for me for a good part of my life. Through you know, good and bad, is there for me, and I'm ha- I'm very happy for them to be there. Mom comes back, and there's a lot to that too, and it's not something I'm gonna dig into, but. Mom comes back. Mom was a real free spirit and traveling, but she loved she loved me and my sister. And um, so she's there, and uh, you know some cheap living. And I was thinking about this earlier. It's like some some of you people haven't uh, discovered ketchup sandwiches and how delicious they are, and it shows. <laughs> Moved to Iowa. I lived in Iowa for three years. <sighs> Gonna move to Missouri with my mom. camera for this part I was in 8th grade when my mother was involved in a motorcycle accident and as a kid I was at a friend's house when it happened in case you know Iowa I was in Montour, Iowa my mom was in Tama, Iowa and there's a chance that she was coming to see me on the back of her friend's bike. They never made it. My friends were taking me back home. We had to detour off the road. because there was a motorcycle accident on the road. I remember sitting in the back seat of this, my buddy's dad's car and thinking, I really hope that's not Bear. Bear was my mom's like boyfriend guy at the time who had a bike, who had been riding for many, many, many years. Very good writer. <sighs> Officer was friends with my buddy's dad because that's how Iowa is. And uh, told us the bike flipped like seven, eight times. Didn't think the helicopter was going to get there in time to save the woman.
So we go around the accident. Get to my apartment that we lived in at the time. And mom's not home. Neighbor kids tell me mom left a bear. And I stopped. I said, the bear have his truck? And they said, no, he had his bike. Saw a tow truck go by with a bike on the back of it. I couldn't make it out. I was only like 14 at the time. Just like the GoPro to die <laughs> when I'm not even on camera. Ugh. All right. So the tow truck goes by. Bike on the back. All the pieces are just like connecting, you know? Everything going in my head, and I'm just like, all right. I knew I was mad. I was mad. I was so mad. And I was trying to hold it back. Like, okay, okay, okay. I'm at the neighbor's house. Mom had left food on too, like a pot roast, and she wasn't even going to be gone that long. Cops roll up to the door uh, with uh, one of my grandmas at the time, and uh, you know they let us know the news. So yeah, it's always a uh, man. So, <laughs> okay, I know that's a lot, guys. Um, uh, we go, we go to my grandparents in Iowa. I see my buddy who lives across the street from him. He's just trying to be there for me. Talking about, you know, like, I think he had lost his grandma or something at the time. I was little, I don't remember. And he's trying to be there for me, and like, I snapped at him, and that's not fair, but. And you have the people like, well, you know, we understand like you're a kid. No. But all that goes. Ended up going to high school in Arizona. My aunt, who originally got me from the stepmother, um, she, my aunt, uncle, and grandmother at the time, um, well, them at the time, my grandmother's still my grandmother. <laughs> uh, they all come out to Iowa from Arizona. They drive out, we load up mom's van, and, uh, you know, we make the trip to Arizona. I stayed pretty upbeat. Had a lot of, a lot of days yelling into the sky. People handle stuff differently, you know? People turn to the food, alcohol. Uh, when you're a kid, it's a lot harder I mean, it's it's easy to find if you need to find it, but it's harder. Um, 
I had a lot of time outside, a lot of time you know, at the sky trying to figure out why. <sighs> Some of you guys already knew that happened, but I haven't told the story, so. That brings us to freshman year in high school. And uh, <laughs> they have me, they have me see the guidance counselor, the shrink, you know, whatever you want to call it. Because they had heard, you know, and the principal, well, vice principal at the time, uh, Miss Stewart, such an amazing woman. Um, she was, she was in an administration when I was in uh, grade school in Arizona. Um, and now she was part of this high school there. And so she had known me for quite a while, really. You know, she's really good about knowing her kids and that's not an easy job when you get to know your kids and stuff like that. Uh, so they had me talk to the guidance counselor asking me what happened you know, through my life. I'm running down to her, it's whatever. Part of me is like, I'm not in class, but at the same time, class wasn't that crazy then. Um, I'm going to run everything down to her. And I get this sentence that has lived with me for the rest of my life. Well, question, I guess. Or statement, I don't even know. That it was like a, like, how was I not insane? It's been a long time, guys, so it kept me a break. I don't remember the words exactly. But it was, because, I mean, I've gone. Sometimes I go a long time without even thinking about it, but it's still like it's there. You know, that stuff just kind of sits right back there. You know, I think or most kids your age, like if you've been through this experience, this many experiences, uh, maybe one of them could be insane, let alone having all these experiences happen to me. And I'm like, you got to keep on keeping on, you know? And I, I Joe dirted it up like real quick, you know, and I, and I saw it there and then. You know, life's a garden. You gotta dig it. Like, what are you? What are you supposed to do? You can't let it just. T- you can't let it take you down. So there's, I, doing all that stuff, and every once in a while now, I have days like today. And today had nothing, nothing really to do with that. But I feel like, uh, I feel like when the dam breaks, it breaks the next dam and the next dam and the next dam until you're in your truck screaming at traffic. A lot of times that ends up being my real life. <laughs> People don't know it, but I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm yelling at him something fierce a good amount of times, and uh, I don't do that when I'm at work, you know, so you got to do that, like, preppy, 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 and then on the uh, way home, it's, I don't know, sailors would cover their ears, I'm like, dude, chill, what I'm trying to say is, uh, the mental health game for men is not easy, because uh, it could be anything. There's a lot that look normal, like not not look normal, like look normal. But day to day, everything could be totally, totally fine. I really hope they don't pick up too many of the dogs out here on the damn mic. You don't know what someone else is going through. Also, guys, if I mean, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm. I'm I'm here, you know, I'll do my best to, like, to, do, to talk to people, like, I, I'm never trying to not talk to people, you know, and I've reached out, I've reached out to people when they post stuff, and and I'm not saying that, like, I need, uh, okay, uh, I'm getting a little bit better, I'm feeling a little bit better, 
It's taking a minute. All day. T- so let's let's describe today because uh, I'm probably gonna ask today. Um, we're looking at potentially moving, and um, it's a big step in our like adult life and all the stuff that we're doing and paperwork and. Um, I'm nervous, you know, like, so I think that was like the tip of the iceberg. Then I'm dealing with parent-teacher conferences for the kids. Uh, I'm trying to do everything I can to keep them on track. Um, this, this, this distant learning thing is just, ugh. I, so that and then the traffic and then I'm trying to like pay off credit card at the store that, you know, was, that was a hassle and, but before like getting all that stuff and like, I, if you guys haven't felt anxiety before, or I, I, I don't even know if that's what it's called because I don't feel it too often. But I'm walking around and like I can feel my arms just, I can feel a churn in my stomach. You know, and it just throws me off. And like I didn't even go in, into work really today. Uh, it just got to the point where I was like, I'm not gonna stay here. Like, because I'm just gonna stay there, I'm gonna be in my own head and I need to get out and I need to relax. And you know, whole way home in the truck, and I was just feeling like all these feelings. And you gotta let yourself feel them. I mean, at the same time, it's like holding back, and you know, a lot of times guys don't try to think about it, but it's okay to not be okay. And I know that might sound like a broken record, too, but it is, it's okay to not be okay. You get that like feeling like the weight's on your shoulders and no one's going to be there to help pick it up. So those are the dams that, you know, broke for me. You know, still going about my day, trying to figure everything out. And the more sometimes you do that, the more it's just one thing after another and the next thing you know you're hearing... uh, Hearing music on the thing that just wants to give you a nice punch in the gut to go with that churn. Next thing you know, I'm thinking about mom. Thinking about the kids, making sure I'm enough and doing enough. It gets rough. So guys, you know, I've been through some shit, and if you guys need help, I'm also here to help you get through some shit. And there might be other people out there to help do some shit. Doesn't matter where you come from. Doesn't matter what you've been through. Try not to go it alone. I've done that quite quite a bit. Um... So to tie this all into motorcycles, <laughs> on the interior note, motorcycles will really help me. Um, and that may sound very, very odd, but they do. They help me a lot. They help that mental game. It like, really helps uh, for me. You know, and uh, it's not even just riding them, working on them. I'm out here, like, uh, I gotta finish Nikki's bike. Yeah. I'm about to wrap up the video. Love you. Leave that in too. It's not one of those videos that's meant to be all about editing and like arts and all that stuff. But making videos helps me. Uh, working on the bikes helps. And like I said, it's not, this isn't, this isn't me every day. I, I don't, I don't get on the camera normally and on the bike and do motor vlogs and uh, all that stuff and then put on this persona. And then the rest of the time it's, oh man, it's, it's not, it's not that. I was having a conversation with the uh, sister-in-law and her husband um, a month ago or so. And... 
I told, I, I don't even know how the conversation came up, but I told him, like, there's twice a year that I usually have a breakdown. And I don't want to say, like, pulled over on the side of the road, you know, breakdown, breakdown, crazy, crying, like, whatever. Twice a year, I end up having feelings come out. I feel this way, and, you know, I have at it. I fucking <laughs> watch movies that, tr like, trigger it. Listen to music that triggers it. Um, it's going to sound super corny, but I'm being very honest with you guys, and that's always what I bring to the table. Always what I bring to the table. Um, there is a movie called Time Traveler's Wife. Most of you guys probably have not seen it. Uh, and maybe some of the girls have seen it. But, spoiler alert, um, in one part of the movie, the guy travels in time. And it kicks my ass every time. He ends up, because he doesn't, doesn't know where he's going to go. He just, poof, time travels. Um, and he ends up on a train in the past with his mom. At the beginning of the movie, mom dies. So no spoiler there. But he gets to have like a small adult conversation with her. give the world for that. <sighs> to be able to ask those questions or say something to her. Tell her about her grandkids. How her, how her oldest grandkid looks like her. I showed a picture, or not a picture, sorry. This is a, uh, there's a picture of my mom. We went to my grandmother's house in Arizona, all the kids, and my grandma stared at my oldest. She just had to, like, I see my daughter's eyes and my great-granddaughter's eyes. Ugh. And most of the time, guys, this is what we do. Yell, let it out. Some people get angry. Feel, feel that shit. Feel it. Just remember you're not alone. I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> right the second. Um, what I'm going to ask is if you guys can DM me, you can message me, you can do whatever you want to do. Whatever you whatever you want to do. If, if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it, but other motor vlogger friends of mine, um, I don't want to call it a challenge. I don't want to call it any of that stuff. I just uh, a calling, I don't, whatever. Make it whatever you want to do. But if you feel the same way, or people can reach out to you, make the video. Um, look at it however you want content, whatever. Uh, but as long as you genuinely have the sim similar feelings because they're not we're not all the same we're not all feeling this shit the same we're we're not coming in the dark room and making a video about it some of us are punching through the damn wall and some of us are out there yelling and screaming and trying to feel something we're trying not to feel something i 
Hopefully some of you guys will get these feelings every once in a while. Maybe similar to me, maybe different. Have somebody there. I got a bombshell with me and uh, she she cares like so, so much. It's, it's hard. Um, I went through one of these spells kind of and like, if I don't, if I, so sorry, before I end this guys, uh, if I don't have those two times a year, and uh, it sounds weird that like it's almost planned or something. My mom passed away in late April. The Lothan River Run is late April. So that makes things difficult. Mom's birthday is early October. We're in October. Some of you guys may listen to country. Uh, the Tim McGraw song, I Called Mama. On her birthday, every single time I got in the truck that day, which for some reason happened to be a lot, but it didn't mean it was like I went somewhere and then we were there for a little while and then I left. It was every time it was on the radio. The next morning I got on the bike, no longer on Sirius Radio. I'm on my um, Cardo and it's playing 95.1 Southern California's, you know, K Frog. Um, or, yeah, K Frog. Yeah, K Frog. And it's on. I get it. I don't know what she's trying to tell me, but I get it. Uh, if you guys saw my Ten Sleep Canyon uh, road uh, on the way to Sturgis, well, there was a butterfly that came around. And uh, the story goes like a yellow butterfly or a butterfly in general, I believe, uh, when it's around. Is usually somebody who's passed that cares for you and visiting you. So yeah, there's been a lot. And then with the social distancing and some of you guys are like trying to get out, it's even harder. So sometimes these feelings get put in there even like for, for a longer period of time without being able to get out there, you know, and you end up bottling up more and I don't know how many more people that these lockdowns have hurt, but, um, you know, it's not the same, but you can reach out on the internet, and hopefully somebody will be there, so, like I said, fellow motor vloggers and content creators, if you get a chance to make something, um, tag me on Instagram, message me, email me, Facebook me, I don't care, like, I want to see it, like, I'd really like to see that. Um, you know, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I still have that, like, you know, and not everybody agree, and we're not all supposed to agree. We all have our own opinions. We're our own people. But I do believe, like, men can be men, you know, be manly and not, but at the same time, at the same time, for me, it's apparently. 85% to 15% or 98% to 2%. I don't know. However you want to look at it. We can be there and we can be emotional and be there for each other. And I think that like, uh, this is going to be a long ass video. <laughs> uh, I was on the phone with my brother a while back. And I think I talked about that where it got edited out. But, um, my brother has called me, and he's not a—he's not blood, but man, he's a. So if on my side of the family, besides kids, I have my dad, um, and I have a other family on my mom's side and stuff like that, but they're still there. But my dad's there, and my brother, the postman—he <laughs> is there. 300 miles away right now, most of the time, he's always there. And we're on the phone, and we're just bullshitting, and, uh, I don't know how, I think it was, it was probably, it was probably April, and I was just talking to him, probably having one of those days that I needed to have, and he's talking about how mom probably is, like,
mom's probably riding with me. And it was like, we had this like, oh, uh, back and forth like this, uh, like on the phone. And it's, uh, all right, okay, uh, all right, we didn't need uh, emotions. Uh. So even when we're letting those emotions out, a lot of times we fight them. And I'm not saying that's bad either, because you're still showing some of them. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna finish Nikki's bike. That's gonna be my relaxation. Probably have some ice cream because apparently that's another thing that calms me down before bed. And when I'm anxious, I'm just you know just sitting there like ah. But this this is real, and I want you guys to be real, and I want you guys to be healthy and. Mentally, physically, you know, we all... Mentally, right now, we can stay together. All the other bullshit aside, you know. Um, yeah. Alright, guys. Stay classy.